Hey, welcome back to Prepping with Sarge. Today we're gonna to talk a little bit about fall gardening. It is time, it is time, my friends, to order your fall garden seeds. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to do so through the www.superseeds.com, which is, of course, Pine Tree Garden Seeds. This is the company that I've been using for years. And uh, if you stay with me to the very end, I'm gonna give you a coupon code that you can use on their website. So if it's your first time on the channel, I hope you enjoy what you find. I'm gonna link at the very end. I'll put some cards in where you can see some of my gardening playlist. I have the time of filming this, I have over 70 videos in the gardening playlist, lots of tips and tricks, things like that, how to prune, all kinds of cool videos in there. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you also decide to subscribe. If you're returning, thank you so much for returning to the channel. Don't forget to comment below. Let me know you were here. And if you get a chance, if you like the content, please give me a thumbs up. Without further ado, let's get to it. So the first thing you're going to notice here when you go to superseeds.com is that it's going to ask you if you want to sign up for the mailing list. Now you don't have to do this, but I do recommend that you sign up for the Pine Tree Garden Seeds mailing list because you will get some nice, uh, they don't spam you over and over again with emails. I get maybe a couple per season, but they'll let you know about different growing tips and also, you know, sales that are coming up, any specials, things like that. So in my opinion, it's been well worth it to sign up for this. Now, if you are going into your fall garden, there are some things that I would recommend. Certain things grow better in the fall weather because of the less sunlight that we tend to see here in North America and a little bit cooler weather, cooler temperatures. So we're gonna go into the menu over on the left-hand side and we're gonna scroll down to herb seeds. Okay, and I'm skipping ahead here, so you're not going to see me scrolling through tons and tons of pages with no talk. But flat leaf parsley, I've had pretty good luck growing parsley in the fall. Uh, for me, living in the south, I tend to not grow parsley in the springtime too much because it just tends to bolt and get bitter really, really fast. So if you like parsley and you like to dehydrate some so you have it for your soups all year long, this is a good time to start growing your parsley. All right, the next one there that I wanna show you is the cilantro on the left. Now, cilantro is another one that in the South, for some reason, when I grow it, it tends to bolt really fast. And some people don't mind that, but to me, it starts to take on a soapy, bitter taste to it. So for me, if I'm going to, if I'm going to grow cilantro, I tend to grow it in the fall. Okay, now we're gonna go back to our homepage here, and we're also going to look for, uh, this is the time of year, in my opinion, when you wanna be ordering your garlic. Let's, I don't see it on the front page there, so let's go over into search up in the top right-hand corner, and we're going to look for garlic. All right, and then if you look on the right-hand side, there's hardneck garlic, which is what I typically grow here in South Carolina. You can scroll down. I uh, do not think that they have. Okay, they, they do have some of the soft neck garlic. Okay, so if you look down there on the right hand side, about middle down the page, the soft neck garlic, that's more for those of you who like to plant in late winter. I'm going to go back up to the top here. Bear with me. So these hard neck varieties, you usually, I usually plant these sometime in October. And just about everywhere in the United States, they will do fine over the winter. Uh, but you want to get it growing before the hard freeze starts, okay? So what it's gonna do is it's gonna send down some roots into the ground, it's gonna send, send up a little bit of shoots, and you may get snow, you may get you know hard frozen ground, that's okay, as long as it's been started at least, you know I'm gonna say four weeks before you get your first frost. So uh, for me here, I usually mid-October, sometime, you know, sometime right before Halloween is fine for me. You're not going to harvest this though until like late May or June. And I have some videos that will show you when to tell uh, when it's when it's time to harvest. But real short version of that is the leaves are going to start to turn brown near the top and droop over. And that's when you can start checking on them to see if they're ready to pull. Let's go back to our home page here. Now the next thing I want to show you is we're going to go into search again. So we're going to go into search again and we're going to look now for greens. Okay, we're going to scroll down a little bit here. Skipping past the microgreens, although you can do those all year long indoors if you wanted to. That's what I'm looking for there. Okay, so look on the right hand side where it says mustard greens. 
right? And that may be one that you decide to grow. We're gonna go back into search. And I'm gonna pull up next kale. Now, in my experience, if you're going to grow kale, kale likes the cooler weather. And so you want to be planting that in the fall, and you should be able to harvest that all the way up, uh, even sometimes past your first few frosts. And, the, and generally, kale is one of those crops that, like, as it gets cold, it actually improves the flavor. So this is a great time of year to, to plant some kale. Uh, the dwarf curl tail on the right there, the dwarf blue the dwarf Blue curled kale on the right hand side is a heirloom variety. Uh, although if you're not saving the seeds off of these, you can go you can go ahead and find a hybrid, which may give it more resistance against some diseases and things like that, if that's been a problem in your area before. Oh, actually, since we're down the bottom, cabbage also, this is a great time of year to plant some cabbage. Okay, so you see kind of getting the picture of what kind of crops you want to be planting. A lot of times it's your lettuces, your kales, your greens. And speaking of lettuces, let's take a look and see what they have this year for lettuces. We're going back into the search. All right, now we're going to scroll down a little bit. That wild leaf lettuce mix, I've used that a few times. That is a great choice. Green iceberg lettuce on the left. I'm sorry, green ice lettuce. On the, I've grown that before. That's a very good choice. And let's see. I'm going to go back up to search here and see if they have it in stock. I have one particular variety that I really like to use and I'd like to recommend it to you. Okay, great. They do have it in stock. This this one, sometimes companies will run out of. It is a very popular uh, variety. The Black Seeded Simpson there on your left this is an heirloom lettuce. This is one of my favorite lettuces to grow. It is a cut and come again variety, which means you'll be able to take multiple harvests on it. So you just go in there with clean scissors, clean shears. You could pick it as well, and you're gonna cut, let the plant grow back a little bit, cut, let the, and you can do that, in my experience, about six times, and then it'll start to get better. Now this variety also does prefer cooler temperatures too. So the cooler it gets, up until like, you know, your first real hard freezes, it will actually improve the flavor of this variety. Okay, and then we went back up to the main, okay, we went back up to the main page and then went to the menu to the left and I went and pulled up uh, the live plants section. So scroll down here a little bit to the blackberry. What I'm looking for, if they have it this year, let's look, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Um, well, if they don't, then we'll go back to that first page and look at those again. All right, let's check one more page here. Well, they may not be carrying it this year. Okay, but since we're since we caught the strawberries, the fall, in my experience, is a good time to plant strawberries as well. Uh, you want to get it established before those first few hard frosts, but this will allow them to get ready for the spring, and you'll actually have. Uh, better production in the spring. Now, a lot of people don't take that first year's harvest. That's completely up to you. Uh, we can talk about the pros and cons of doing that uh, on another video, but the fall is a good time to be planting the strawberries. And looks like they are out of elderberries, so we're not going to be planting any of that this year. Uh, let's see. Let's go back up to blackberries. So, and, and the reason I'm showing you these live plants is that a lot of these, this is your one time of the year where you really can get, it's really a good idea to put some of these in the ground. Okay, so we've got a couple different blackberry versions there. Uh, oh, we got some raspberry there too. So the the blackberry, I typically look for the thornless varieties. Let's check out Cato over here on the right. It's sold out for the season. Oh no. Okay. Ships March through mid-April. So you can plant early early winter on this. I tend to plant my blackberries and my blueberry bushes in the fall. Uh, let me check one more thing here. Let's do a search. And let's try, just see if they have any blueberry that we didn't see. Uh, yes, they do have some blueberries. Uh, ships March through. Okay, so they're they're recommending spring. I have planted in the fall. 
uh, you can, uh, if you don't get them through here, uh, just plant a couple weeks before, if you're going to do some fall planting for your berry plants, plant a couple weeks before you get that real hard frost. You want to get it a little bit established before you get that hard frost. All right, so we'll go back to the main page here. And I'm going to show you the checkout real quick. Uh, let's go ahead and do, let's do the hard neck garlic. Okay, so let's say that I was going to get the uh, Spanish Roja on the right. All right, so we're going to go ahead and add this to the cart. Uh, let's go ahead and make it another one. Add it to the cart, so that's probably going to give us three. Let's see. Yep, so that gives us three. So the subtotal there is 40, 50. Let's go to the cart. I want to show you how easy this is. All right, and then we're going to go to, it shows you the order again. You can check it and go to checkout. All right, then it's going to, again, ask you for contact information. Uh, and if, if you have a coupon code... I think it's going to, this is as far as I'm going to take you on this page, right? If you have a coupon code, you can go to the next page. When you get to shipping and payment, it should let you enter the coupon code. And I'm going to give you that here in just a minute. All right. Thank you so much for staying with me to the very end. I did promise you a coupon code, didn't I? Well, let's go ahead and do that right now. So if you go to www.superseeds.com and enter coupon code SARGE10 at checkout, all caps, S-A-R-G-E 10 at checkout, you will get 10% off order of $20 or more from superseeds.com. I thank you so much. If you found any value in this content, please consider giving me a thumbs up. If you're brand new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I have a whole playlist of gardening tips and tricks, which I will put somewhere up here. And we'll go ahead and throw that into an end card too. We'll throw that into uh, the description. And I guess we'll throw it into a pinned comment too. So lots of different ways you can find your way to that list. Keep planting your seeds. Keep stacking your silver. This is Prepping with Sarge.